Hi, and welcome to Ology Podcast. This is Chastity Osborne, and we're doing our 20-part series on IC. What can you do to help alleviate it? And I've gone over a few things. Prelief is one of my favorites. Making sure that you stretch, keep your core open is really important. There's medication that helps. I have one on Valium suppositories. I take a hydroxyzine every night to make sure that it calms down my bladder so that I'm not having that fire to my brain telling my bladder that I have to go to the bathroom. It completely calms it down and also helps me sleep. So if you don't know about hydroxyzine, speak to your physician. Today we're gonna to be talking about ice packs. So simple, everybody has them. I have two different ones here. This brand and this one retailed for $6.95. And then this brand is about the same price. So earlier today, I had a flare up. And that's one thing about IC is it's mental emotional. So sometimes we have something that happens in our life that triggers us to get pissed off. Once we get pissed off, that irritates the bladder, irritates the urethra, before we know it, we're in a full IC flare up. So what I did, I recognized I was pissed off. I recognized I was starting to have pain. So I went and got an ice pack and I sat on it for about 35, 40 minutes, did a little meditation, a little relaxation. And now, boom, feeling great, zero IC pain. So some really simple stuff that make a huge difference. So there's a few different ways to do this. What I do, I was using this one earlier, is I fold it in half. You can see this one is frozen. I just took it out of my freezer. So it doesn't fold as well as one that has been completely cooled off. But as you fold it, you wanna find something that's clean and you wanna wrap it. So earlier today, I was using a hand towel. What I like about it is how thin it is. So when you wrap it in, what you want to do is take this portion, open up the vaginal lips just slightly, and then slide it up on in there. And just let the cooling power work. Sometimes, like say it's already cold and you don't really want to be cold again, then what I do is I get a larger towel or one that's thicker. So this one here is thicker and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take it in, wrap it, and then what you can do with the extra material, you can either stuff it underneath to really give your body more pressure of putting that ice up in it, or you can put this around your thighs so your thighs don't get cold. Now a big towel is sometimes needed. And so same thing, just get a really big towel and this one's really thick. You're gonna put it in there, fold it over. And then what you can do is the same thing with a small towel is put some of it right underneath. So when you sit on the ice pack, it's going as deep in there as possible with some nice firm pressure. Then you can take the rest of the towel and bunch it up so your thighs and your whole body isn't freezing. If you haven't been using ice packs, I really truly cannot express the difference that it makes. With IC, if you don't catch it in time, the burning, the pain, the pressure, the frequency is so intense. The pain just makes you miserable. So if you can catch it early before it's in a full blown flare up, you're going to help yourself. You can do this for just simply 40 minutes rather than having to take four to eight days to heal from the IC flare up. So as long as you can, identify. Oh, I feel it. Oh, yep, there's something going on in my life that triggered it. And then immediately get an ice pack. Apply
apply it to the urethra. That's going to send the vibration of cooling up to the bladder and it's going to relax everything. It's amazing how that cool pack makes you feel. It's a game changer. So one simple tool, like so many of them I've talked about, and uh, I hope this really helps you. I hope it makes a difference. I hope it is a game changer for you. If you can learn when that IC is beginning to flare up and immediately nip it in the bud, you won't have to worry about it and you'll be able to have a good night, a good rest of the day, and go on with a happy, healthy life. Thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. Peace, love, and light.